Howdy folks and welcome back to Bingham Isle Arc. The first thing I want to say is before we start this flight is in the last video I seem to have had some video flickering and v-sync issues or some kind of issues that I thought were only on my monitor so I didn't really talk about them that much but as I was editing the video it seems like you may all have experienced it as well. So I apologize if you had a jittery, messed up, unpleasant video experience in the previous video but hopefully this time it'll be better. I am running, I turned off the FreeSync, G-Sync compatibility, or G-Sync slash V-Sync compatibility thing in my NVIDIA control panel. And now I'm running V-Sync again, which kills 25 frames per second to run V-Sync. Um, but that's okay. Off the top end, the low end is the same. So on my monitor, everything is as smooth as glass. I'm hoping it comes that way across in the video because my understanding with V-Sync issues, it's only a monitor thing locally. It shouldn't get recorded that way. But my recording software, which is Bandicam paid version, the newest one, seems to record V-Sync issues, which confuses me in how I understand V-Sync. But whatever. So I'm seeing clear as glass, um, 1440p video, between 30 and 100 frames per second, depending where we are. I turned off my frame rate counter. Um, and hopefully you are too. Well, for you, it's locked in at 30 because I'm recording at 30. Because if I record at 60, it's too much resources. So I just want to mention that because if you had a terrible experience in the previous video like I did, I apologize greatly. Hopefully that was not the first video of mine you've seen. But they will be getting smoother and better. So I just wanted to bring that out there. A little bit of behind the scenes housekeeping. So where are we right now? We are at McClendon. I practiced saying that I still got it wrong. Anyway, we're at Palomar Airport in Carlsbad, California. We're going to fly over Legoland, or where Legoland would be. And then we're going to go head north and land at Camp Pendleton, a very famous airport and um, military area. And that's in Oceanside, California. The reason for this, we went to Legoland when we were in California. And... I was actually very impressed. I thought it was going to be really cheesy and kind of lame and for little, little kids, and that's not true. It was a legit destination. So if you're ever going to the Los Angeles area and you want to drive an hour south to Legoland, it's totally worth it. It was really, really cool. Um, the only downside is the park hours are really short because it is intended for kids, and they're not going to last that long. But otherwise, if you're ever in the area, head down there. So that's what we're going to do. Of course, Legoland is not modeled. But I'm just curious what like the parking lots and stuff look like in the sim based on the OSM data. So anyway, that's what we're doing. We're going to do it in the Just Flight Piper Arrow 3. So not the turbo, just the regular. And um, I'm kind of delaying jumping in the cockpit because now that I have my monitor working properly with my video card, this is absolutely amazing. So anyway, let's hop inside and let's get this thing going. All right, so here we go. The first thing we're gonna do is wait and wait and balance. Yeah, wait and balance. Um, we're gonna have a full crew today, so I'm in the left seat with my kid. Well, those are fuel tanks. Let's try this again. Here's my dad bot side, and there's my friend, and then the children. Let's just do that half. Then her children are coming with us if I can find the right spot. She has a ten-year-old and a seven-year-old all right um that does that whoop i guess you have to do it down here because it doesn't fit let's reset that view too there we go all right parking brake is down here no it isn't it's right there parking brake is set all controls to idle battery on check the fuel gauges move that out of the way where are you where's your click spot do we have a click spot for this I guess maybe we can just go down here um, I'm kind of don't know what's going on there any fuel gauges half full announced low voltage all that stuff should be on and it is turn the battery off trim to neutral I think it always is in this one let me see yeah uh, recharge battery doesn't matter because we haven't flown yet today spark plug following doesn't matter because we haven't flown yet today and auto switch the fuel tanks, which I think is on by default. Yep, and we've talked about that many times before, so I won't repeat myself. All right, let's get the doors closed and get this thing started up. All right, so we'll click on our menu wherever I hit that thing. And yes, there's a bunch of noise above me. My kids have our friend over, and they're um 
They're um running around upstairs, but that's fine. So close the baggage door. And let's close this one from the outside. And remove the chocks, which was already done when we hit battery. So let's hide the menu. Hop in here. And that'll be closed automatically from that menu. But now we have to latch it. Fuel tank. To left. Props forward. Throttle a quarter. Altair closed. I can see it from here. Confirm Vavionics are off. I actually don't think they are. Yeah, see these are all on. Some of them are. That one's off. That one's off. Battery on, which I guess we're not going to get to from here. Oh my gosh, come here. There it is. Battery on. Nav and rotational beacons on. Like, whoop. There we go. Fuel pump on. Mixture rich. Confirm fuel flow on the gauge. I swear I had a preset for this. I don't think I do. Oh, well, fuel flow. It's right behind with the one I can't see. There you go. Fuel flow, the big F. Ye yell. Clear prop out the window. Clear prop. Start key. Having preset problems. There we go. It's going to run. Sync the gyros as it reminds me to confirm oil. And temp and pressure rising. There we go, right there. Alt switch on. Can't get there from there. There it is. Alt switch on. Confirm the lights went out up here. Throttles to 1400. To 1500. Like so. Confirm suckers between 4 and 5. It is. Lean the mixture. To avoid spark plug fouling. Turn on the GPS. And this, we're not really going to use that, but in case we were, we would have all these on. Like that. ADF. Right, that was one, two, yes. I should say this is going to be completely VFR flight, by the way. We're just going to take off, use the built-in map, simulates the iPad on our lap. And that's how we're going to fly this thing. Uh, make sure this works, which sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, in that case it does. Already sync the gyros, the timber barometer, 2902, because we have weather turned off because it's completely fogged in right now in real life. So we are, we just have weather turned off. Flight plan, there isn't one, we could use a GPS, I guess. We're not going to. Um, we're just gonna use the map on our lap. All right, no taxi lights, parking brake. We're not gonna do a run up, so let's just taxi out to the runway. All right, where are we going? Um, where are we going? I wanna take off over Legoland, which is directly, well, we're inside the hangar, which is exactly to east of here, which what I think is gonna be, I think this way. I think that says runway 24. Yeah. Wow, it's hard to believe there's a theme park between there and the ocean. Huh. But that's where we're headed. Due east, runway 24. Alrighty. Well, I mean due west. I say east, I meant west. Alright, so we're going to head out to the right. Simple as that. Alright. Parking brake off. And get comfortable in our chair. And make sure throttle or, um, uh, make sure it's back so you don't follow the spark plugs. And first set of flaps down. Can't remember if it's two in this one. I'll remember when I look at the checklist. I'm going to skedaddle out of here. I'll meet you at the end of that runway. Oh, there was a GA parking spot. I didn't see that when I um, was loading the sim. But there was a spot. Alright, so here we go. We're going to slow down. Slow down, I said. Slow down, but don't stall. Let's go right onto the runway. Although I think I read this used to be the busiest single runway airport in the country. So we probably wouldn't be able <laughs> to pull out like this and wait, but that's what we're gonna do. Cause we're simulator pilots. Alright, here we go. Let's stop and set the parking brake. 
Hop inside, we're not doing the run up. Battery and alt on, yes. Fuel pump on, yes. Alter on. Props and mixtures forward, first flaps, yes. Makes on both landing lights on. Trim in the middle, it already is. Confirm door lock and latch. Pedo heat on. Heading bug autopilot, we're not using autopilot. Heading bug should push, yep. Doors locked and latched, yep. We're good to go. Rotate 65 knots. All right, parking brake off, feet on the pedals. And away we go, shouldn't need much runway to take off, I don't think. There we go, keep it in the middle as best as we can. There's 55, 60, and lift off. Simple as that, gets nice and quiet. Gear coming in. 300 AGL flaps coming in. Legoland, it should be right over our noses. Let's look outside. Let's see how it's, let's see what it looks like in the sim. We got the main highway, that double highway there, just off the nose. I remember that. Legoland, then. Here is the parking lot for Legoland. This is what it would be. And there's a row that you take to get into Legoland. You actually have to, you can't do, can't get through this way. This is employee parking. Do you have the trains? That's Legoland. So you come in here, you turn down here, there's a roundabout. You come in here and you park, this whole thing is a parking lot. And all those trains, that's Legoland. So why it thinks it's a train yard? Probably because there are trains in Legoland. There's a couple of them. So there you go. There's your, there's, there's your Legoland in the sim. With a bunch of trains. That's really funny. That is super funny. All right, so if you look over here, Camp Pendleton is just right over there somewhere very um very close by so let's bring back the throttle what are we cruising this thing cruise cruise 23 and 2200 so we come down here 23 just like this and 2200 i love that sound just like that I swear my preset included that. I guess not. I'll have to go through them all. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's figure out where exactly are we going. Alright, so let's just go along the coast here a little bit. And we're not really going to get a whole bunch of sightseeing time because our flight is going to be so short. But let's look around as best as we can. Again, highest detail in the sim. So there you go. There's your... Oceanside and Carlsbad at the same time. Let's level off here if we can. And then San Diego is right down there. And then Mexico, just over that bump. How awesome is that? Alrighty. So oil rigs out there. We haven't flown over the ocean in a while. So then LA is right sticking out there. Can't really see it from here. How cool is this? Super simple. All right, let's level off. Bring back throttles here. Um, destination doesn't matter. Passport doesn't matter. Landing lights, we can keep them on. Um, this flaps at 185 and 75. That's it. Okay, so let's figure out where we're going. And let's land this thing already. Even though we just got started, it seems like. So where are we headed? Right there. KNFG. Um, I guess we'll fly to the airport and then, even though we don't have weather, we're going to pretend there's wind blowing in from the ocean, right? So we're going to use the same direction of runway. Let's just fly towards it. When we get to it, we'll do a left traffic pattern, I guess. And then we'll, um, we'll just land. So let's get some speed going. We're going way slower than we need to be. So let's get, goose this thing a little bit here. Make sure our manifold is correct. Well, we should bring it back a little bit, but for right now we're just gonna goose it, get some speed. So it looks like we will have some time for some sightseeing. After all, I'll do the best I can trying to sightsee without autopilot, just because I usually use autopilot in this and I don't want to today. So there's our Camp Pendleton right there. We're gonna head that way and I'll give you about a minute of sightseeing. We'll be right back.
Alright, so there it is on the left. We're going to kind of get a little closer here before we do our down one leg. We need to start coming down because I think we're at what? 3,200 feet and this is pretty much at sea level. So let's start bringing it down but also slowing down a little bit. Although I don't mind cooking pretty quickly here. So elevation 78 feet and 21 is the runway. I don't know the exact magnetic heading. But let's put this on 21, our heading bug down here at the bottom of your screen right there. That way we know the orientation of the runway. So let's go to the east a little bit so we can make sure we're parallel to runway 21 as best as we can. We'll do that by putting 21 straight below us. There we go. So now we're parallel to the runway, see? that works. It's going to be an interesting steep descent because we do have some mountains here. Although I did drive these mountains. They're not mountain mountains. For me, they're mountains. <laughs> For someone from Minneapolis, they're mountains. So let's just level off here, I think, is what are we at? We're at 2,000. Let's stay about two. Th eh, let's get down to about 2,500. All right, so there's about 1,400 feet. Let's level off a little bit until we come around the corner so that we um, don't get too close to these hills here. Keep our speed up though. At 100 we can drop gear and first set of flaps at 85 and 75. I think we touch down at 75 and then roll it out with at idle. Yeah. And let the nose wheel come down gently. That all for my touchdown checklist. What else do I have? Yep. Everything else is once we're on the ground. Alrighty. Where is this airport? Let's give ourselves a little bit more space before we turn around. Let's definitely level off about here. Hopefully we're not annoying the neighbors too much. All right, enough sightseeing. Let's make our way back. We know the orientation of the runway, so let's keep that nose up so we don't descend. Maybe a little bit of throttle will keep us above 100. Try to stay level, center of that ball. Let's expedite our turn a little bit here. As soon as the 21 gets 90 degrees to our left, we'll level off and see where that runway is. All right, there's orientation of the runway. We are perpendicular now on our base leg. Nice, just like it should be done. Yay, good. Sometimes I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been doing it long enough. All right, let's go in about 45 degrees here since we are far enough away. Because so we, we don't have peripheral vision, then we get a better view of this runway. So let's bring that 21 to there, level off, and peek out here. There we go. Let's keep that in our sights. Let's start coming down now. We do have to come down a 1,000 feet, so let's slow down as well. So let's um, keep the nose level and bring my throttles to slow down. There we go. Gear coming down. That'll cut a little bit of drag. First set of flaps as planned. Props forward. Remember, use the nose pitch for speed and the throttles for descent rate. Doesn't matter if we're going so slow with all more flaps. That's okay. We're at 85, second set of flaps. And we're a little bit too high, so bring the throttles back to descend. Nose will stay where it is. A little more throttle here. Nose down. Nose down for speed. Throttle so we don't descend as much. Seems backwards, but it's not backwards. It feels backwards, so you get used to it. There we go. Keep about a 500 foot descent. We got two and two on the Pappy. We're at our touchdown speed, so we're going a little slower than we want to. Let's do third set of flaps now and pitch down for that speed, but throttle so that we don't descend. There we go. We're just going to bring it right in. And we're going to try to touch down at 75, so let's nose down a little bit. Throttles a little bit more because we have three red. And then we're going to aim for those numbers. Do a slight flare. Throttles at idle. Just let it touch down on its own. It's going to sound rough on this because of the noise when the landing audio kicks in. It sounds like you've crashed, but you haven't. It'll be smooth, I promise. Here we go. We're going to aim for those numbers. We're about 20 feet up, though. It's a big runway, so we're not anywhere near the ground yet. Here we go. And we're at idle. Slight flare. Just let it touch down all on its own. We're not in a hurry. There we go. Nose wheel down gently. Flaps coming in. And we're going to aim for that 
grayish blue hanger over there. So just roll it up, not even using the brakes. Just gonna roll it out here a little bit. And right on the little taxi line. Of course I landed left of center. <laughs> like usual, that's my trademark. Let's slow this down a little bit before we try to turn. There we go. Good. Alright. Um landing lights can pedal can come off, fuel pump can come off, and landing lights can come off. Whoops. I can't see what yet. What fuel pump? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I think that was right. Alrighty, let's see. No clock, no stopwatch to stop because I didn't start my clock, but it was like what? I don't know, ten minute flight at most, something like that. In fact, you know what? Let's go to this big hangar right in front of us. They're redirecting us to the big hangar. So, after landing checklist, let's see if I can do this while I taxi, not run into something. Peter heat fuel pump flaps, lights, lights, and stop clock. We just need to turn the anti-collision off, it says. Let's slow this down, because we got to look away from the screen for a minute. We'll keep the rotational beacon, though. There we go. All right, looks like there's a helicopter there. So we're just going to move over to the left of it. Quick, simple flight today. I just wanted to see how Legoland was modeled, and I was completely amused that it was modeled by a bunch of trains running in circles, because there are trains running in circles that go around the park. So that makes sense. It actually does. All right, we're going to stop here. Set the parking brake. How do we shut this thing down again? Avionics can come off first, it says. Uh, so let's turn all this off, off, off. Come on off and off and throttles to idle they are mixture cut off there we go mags can come to off uh, remaining lights i think it's just this one yep and alt off battery off come up here open this and open this which you can fight with all day if you want to there we go Come outside because we need to set the chocks. But you have to be outside to set your chocks. Open the baggage door, and we are all set. Just like that. Super flight, super short flight, super short video. Hopefully you enjoyed. It. I certainly did. What a fun little excursion we had. If you have any suggestions for a flight, let me know in the description below, and I'll put it on my to-do list. Otherwise, right now, the plan is to head back to Indonesia for a quick little flight. And then um, I got to do some more planning after that. So we'll catch you on the other side of the world.